guess what? Air quality is back to our part of the state. Hopefully it lasts. Hopefully I last on this run. <laughs> Speaking of fresh air and no more smoke, it's kind of the topic of today's video. Ah, <laughs> oh, so the question has been posed to me, what would we do if we had to evacuate because of fires concerning all the animals? Like, what's, what's the plan? And I was like, I think I have one. I did have one in my head, but I figured we should probably put it into practice. <laughs> Bags, bags, and boxes. Bags, oh! Why did that have to be in there? I forgot I still had frog juice up in that thing. That was disgusting, man. But anyway, yeah, bags and boxes. Oh, it's getting nuts up there. People are getting in trouble. <laughs> bags and boxes, and load up the uh, bags and boxes here, like this. in probably much less of a calm fashion if we're actually evacuating, but you get the idea. Maybe slight panic and then, and then while I'm doing that loading, I would, I would get on the phone and be like, hey, Cuzzo. Yes? Can you come over to my house with your vehicle so I can throw my snakes in one of your trucks, please? Yeah, I think I got a little room left in here. And since my cousin's only about a quarter mile down the road from me, I figured that's a Pretty decent plan, it's being that he has trucks at his disposal. Trucks, trucks, since I no longer have a truck, why is it too, it's too bright out here now? And granted, it's not gonna be the most ideal situation, but trying to evacuate from a fire is never an ideal situation. But as long as everybody makes it out with their lives, I think you're doing okay. Ooh, there's something I really wanted to share with you guys that I didn't. I was watching a video the other day with Leia of her feeding her first snake, which happened to be a reticulated python. It's really awesome. I'll put the link for the video right here if you wanna check that out if you missed it super cool moment but so she got really excited about it and she wanted to feed a snake again i haven't been feeding snakes that night so she came down with me fed snakes she fed a couple and she got so excited her little laugh was i literally went back and listened to her little laugh like a hundred times literally and it just brightened up my day brightened up my spirits and just made me feel made me feel amazing and it seems like it did for a lot of other people too and i did i shared it on instagram but i didn't share it with you guys so there it is how dark now, this is dumb. Oh, this is great to actually be able to bring some snakes outside. Ugh. Haven't been able to let them get some fresh air with me because, well, obviously. <laughs> yep, Betsy Ross, that's right. Oh, so nice to be able to bring her outside. So, I didn't realize how much I had been suffering as well, like, well I did actually, just last night. I was actually starting to feel kind of depressed and it's because of how, bud, I'm talking to the camera, dude. You wanna come down here? Okay, well then shh. <laughs> Excuse me? <sighs> Better watch it, boy. Kids. Yeah, I was starting to actually feel like kind of depressed last night. I'm fairly active, I'm a very active person and when I'm not able to be active and the heart rate stays low for an extended period of time, start to get kind of depressed and it really takes a toll on my mental state. I know the other day I said I was fine, but last night I was not fine <laughs> at all. And I'm just thankful, thankful that we're finally able to go outside and have this fresh air again. I'm sure the snakes are liking it too. Aren't you, Betsy?
will be no climbing up in the undercarriage today. <laughs> If you guys could do us a favor, if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and whack that like button or the dislike button. We really don't care which one, especially if we're giving you some good energy or helping you think about what you might do if you had an emergency with your animals and what your plan is. Just if they got you thinking about that a little bit, then that was the main point of this video, but we ain't done yet. Do you know? I know. Hide and seek go tag. What about hide and seek go tag? I've been waiting to play it. We've been playing tag instead. Um, it's where you hide and the counter counts to 20 and then they try to run to the safe spot and once they're safe, they can get off without getting tagged. And that's Whoa, all I you know. got daddy sweating. Ooh, that's a good angle. <laughs> yeah. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, 19, 20. Too easy. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. Where's that other guy though? Yeah. Ah. Hey, you count too fast. What? It's what I do. You can't wait, it's what I do. Hey Eli. What do you know? Um. I know. Dad, I want to count fast every time we play hide and seek. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. Climb or racing. Hey, Daddy, you're not safe. I know. <laughs> this is certainly something we've been missing with the air quality. I'm glad to finally be out here doing it again. Getting the heart rate up is important, but breathing in noxious fumes is not. Right? Yeah. Hey. Daddy, you're it. Well, I hope whatever you guys are doing for the rest of your day that you're making it good, spending time with people you love. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on Wednesday for Cusco Uncut. Aloha. I just don't think Hillary realized how crooked her teepee was. It's the struggles of trying to build on a hill, but figured it'd help her out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs>